Guys, I quit my corporate job of 10 years to do YouTube full time. So as you can tell, I'm up here in Oklahoma at Jason's place. Yep, Jared's gonna live in the treehouse full time. Man, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be hard and it's gonna be rough. You think you could fit everything in there? Uh, maybe be able to fit a uh, Tucker in there and that's about it. But. There you go. Guys, I'm not moving up here full time. Nope. I'm gonna be doing part time up here, part time at my place. What are you gonna be doing? Uh, same thing actually. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be the cool part of it, I guess, is, um, yeah, pretty much, uh, Jared uh, worked his job and he put in his time. I worked there. Uh, that's actually my last job that I had. So this is pretty uh, full circle, I guess. So this happened uh, on actually yesterday morning yep. and I went live last night and I didn't want to say anything. I wanted to wait, well, wait till I came up here and uh, there was actually some people that I work with that was in the live chat and I was hoping they wouldn't say anything, but uh, Jill, Here's your video. Uh, but uh, I had a good time there. 10 years with the company is a long time. Started there when I was 25 and now I'm 35 and uh, it helped me uh, pay off my house, my car, my barn, and it just got me financially where I want to be right now to where I'm able to do YouTube full time. And uh, yep. But I'm excited for this new chapter in my life. It's a, it's a huge change uh, going from a corporate job uh, basically waking up at six every day to an exact schedule yes and uh, I'm gonna take it very serious uh, so one of the big changes for my channel is I don't want any political talk on there um, if I'm going live and I see people comment that I'm just gonna ignore those comments but um, I'm gonna stay away from all that stuff I know people don't want to see that I'm getting tired of it as well so that's one big change on my channel I'm taking it very serious this is gonna be like I said my full-time job I have to take it serious the harder I work at it the better my channel is gonna be and hopefully it'll grow and uh, wait so you quit yesterday right yes so he didn't get to sleep in yet you woke up at what five so the dogs were barking it was about uh, 445 or so the neighbor across the street was taking trash out and I just couldn't sleep so I said you know what I'm just gonna get up and uh, I left the Dallas area about 5.30 and got here at 10.30. And so his first day of being free. I woke up earlier than I normally do. <laughs> uh, but the, I'm a morning person. I like getting up early and I like staying busy doing things. So if you think my property looks decent right now with me having a full-time job and all that. He's going to plant even more trees. And so another big uh, change in my life, Jason's life, in our family's life, Matt at the real Matt Crocker, our older brother, he's actually going to be coming up to Terrell and staying with me for a good little bit to help out on everything. I think it's going to be awesome. I have a lot of uh, big projects that Jason will come down and help out as well. So having an extra hand, actually uh, two hands extra on the property. Two hands, three feet. Two, yeah. I actually have a fake foot, so that's three real feet and one fake foot. Actually an extra because you have a fake foot here. So having an extra set of hands on the property is going to help out a lot. Uh, Matt can help me feed all the animals, help out around the yard. Like I said, I got a lot of projects lined up that Jason will be coming down to help out as well. So overall, it's something I've needed for a while and uh, it's going to be nice to have him up there, be able to visit. And then also we can uh, take turns. If I want to go down to see my parents, he can stay at the house. If uh, he wants to go down, I can stay at the house. And overall, I think it's just going to work out pretty good. Well, yeah. And the fact that being here, I need help. Um, you know, it, it's one of those things that as many hands as you can get to get stuff done and all that stuff. So, uh, it could be it's, either I come up here yeah, and help out, or Matt or, comes up, or or I go down there and help. So it, it you're gonna see a lot of all the Crockers together, and I think that's something that I, I guess we've all wanted for a long time. And so the only thing really holding back was Jared's job because he couldn't even like if even holidays, all that stuff. We had to plan around his job. Yeah, and it's uh like I I told my parents before I uh, decided to to just do YouTube full time is. I asked my mom, I said, uh, in the last 10 years, how many times have I been to your house or y'all's place? And like we both kind of laughed because we knew it was very little. Like and, twice. <laughs> uh, it's, it's hard to uh, take time off and make sure everything's good. So this is a brand new chapter in my life. And like I said, I'm excited for it. It's, it feels like a, a big weight's lifted off my chest. Um, I'm not trying to, I'm not going to bash the company or anything. I think it's a great company. And uh, they, like I said, they did a lot for me. And it was just your time to go. It is. Everything was a, uh, well, time to move on in your life, I guess. Yeah, everybody has that uh, that point in their life where they want something new. And I said, you know what? Last year was just a crazy year with the world. And uh, it's a beginning of the a new year and uh, not new year, new me. because New year, new me. This is new year, new everything for me. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's, uh, 
it's it's gonna be exciting yeah and uh, i've told jerry for the longest time i was like i was like you should really consider quitting your job and you know you it would it would not be smart if he just started youtube uh, he's been doing it for since the beginning of the crocker homestead you know he, it's, he's been on youtube for a long time it's just he started his channel after clearly it's been a little but, over uh, about a year and four months or something like that that i've been of on YouTube, your own of my channel, channel yeah. yeah and so you know clearly wouldn't have been a smart decision to do that if he just started youtube but he makes money from it clearly so the fact that he was able to pay everything else off allows him to do this so hopefully this will encourage some of you guys that if you've been wanting to take that step um it's scary but you could do it but get your ducks in a row before you, you got to do it smart it, it's a lot of hard work like i said uh, doing a full-time job doing everything around the property and trying to film everything and edit and all that it takes a lot of work and uh like I said, I, I put in the time, I put myself in a situation where I want to be financially stable and uh, knocking out all those extra bills helped out a lot. So um, I'm excited to do YouTube. It's a little scary, but uh, I think I'm, I'm down for this challenge and I uh, think I'm gonna do pretty good at it. So some of my future projects that I'm gonna need extra help on, I know I've mentioned it in the past, but uh, I got to finish out my house. I still got to finish out the second bedroom that, and bathroom. That was, that's a long time coming. <laughs> yeah, but the thing was, I lived there by myself, so I didn't need it done at the time. And uh, well, I'm, the rest of the house is finished, and uh, I wanted to be able to pay other stuff off first before I start spending more money on trying to get the rest of the house finished. But, so uh, it's almost it's a complete bathroom build. Yeah, a complete bathroom build, and, and just finished. a little bit of work on the uh, bedroom. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in shed the house or tiny house stuff, you know, clear like this, um, it it it's all gonna wrap in together. And the good thing is, is I can go help him and then he can come help me and we'll both learn more skills and more skills. And then Matt will be there, stuff like that. So, uh, I don't know, it'd be interesting to say the least how it all works out and, and stuff. That's, that's where Matt's gonna be staying in my second bedroom. And uh, But also, I think in the second bedroom, I need help. Oh yeah. So, we uh, started a, uh, a clothing line. Shoot dang. As you can see some of these sweatshirts are made. Uh, I have extra room in that, that little uh, bedroom, so uh, maybe Matt and I can get together and knock out a whole bunch of merchandise and yeah. uh, just kind of do everything so Jason has more time to do stuff up here. Um, it's gonna be, it'll be fun and uh, it'll definitely keep me busy down there outside of trying to build the bedroom out and then also potentially build a nice little greenhouse. I think that's awesome, I love trees and plants and stuff so i want to have a nice little greenhouse to be able to do stuff during the winter time and then i want to have an awesome carport slash shop so i can have a place to actually build stuff at and, and i know uh, people are gonna say why don't you use the barn i would use the barn but what i'm planning on doing is the little section that's still open i want to enclose that off and have that for extra space for the animals to be in and also i don't want to be cutting stuff inside the barn and freak out the animals so well and then chickens poop on stuff and that is the main that's one of my main things is the animals do get it dirty in there and like my lawnmower i have in there it's just it's covered in dirt and it's covered in poop so a place to have my lawnmower and all my tools yeah and then uh having the shop and all that he could actually you know as he learns more skills you know he could build stuff. More tools and stuff yeah more <laughs> tools build for the house all that stuff plus it's right there um to run power it's a lot easier to run right yeah. to a carport than all the way to the barn. But that is another project too later down the road is power and water out to the barn. Yeah, but you won't need as much, you know, power out there. So it'll be a lot easier to do. But um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of me going down there. And I know what you guys are thinking. Well, what about your animals down there? What about the animals up here? We already came up with something. So we are... Uh, we're giving them all away. Yeah, we're giving rid of everything. <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, we're looking into getting a little stock live, trailer. livestock trailer. Uh, if you know anybody, comment down below. That's going to get a good deal for us. Yeah, for cheap. But uh, we are going to beef up his fence up here too as well. Um, and then down there I have uh, deer feeders and uh, just... I have everything set to where I can be gone a couple of days if I really needed to be and leave the animals down there. Uh, I have my neighbors, Tom and Rhonda, that, that could just watch to make sure that they're good. Um, or if we have that trailer, we can just bring our animals back and forth with us. So. Yeah, of course we won't bring every single animal. That that's that's not feasible. Now for me, it's easier for me to take all mine down there. But 
he can't really bring all his up all here. we need to do really is bring up my dogs because yeah. the goats can take care of themselves i have a bunch of hay down there the the feeder that shoots out corn and stuff for them they have a pond to drink out of chickens will do the same thing they'll eat the corn eat bugs and all that so i'm not too worried about uh those kind of animals being left down there for a little while yeah so there's gonna be a ton of projects uh you guys know on my channel i've been needing help and even getting stuff done um having an extra hand will be great finishing finishing this tree house yeah the tree house that's going to be why jared's up here uh before jared leaves that'll be done um there's going to be a lot of progress a lot of stuff um this whole last year was crazy and this year is going to be even crazier but in a good way and uh i think a lot more family time a lot more projects getting done a lot more i guess fun and all that stuff so there's really no telling what's going to happen. And you got to shoot for the stars. I want to uh, double my channel. That's, that's a goal. A, that's a high goal to double my channel by the end of the year. But you're at what? I'm just shy of like 29,000, I think. Oh, that's not that hard. But I want my Well, it is. My goal, I want to do 50,000 by the end of the year. But I would like to, you know, I'm going to just throw out a number, have 35,000 by the time we have the meetup. Just that's, that's my number. I want to try to hit it. And I'm going to bust my butt to get it done and put out... As good of videos as I can, I have plenty of time to edit now. Yeah. Uh, most of the time before, I was editing after work, and I was already tired of staring at a computer. So I'm gonna teach them all my skills. I'm just basically making up just things because I'm not very good at editing. All right, guys. So that's just a quick insight on where our lives are going right now. Uh, check out Crocker Simply Southern. That's our parents. You'll see us down there and doing videos with them. They may come up here as well. Check out the Crockers, which is Jason. The real Matt Crocker, which is our older brother that's going to be helping me out at my place. And of course, Jared Crocker, my channel. Yep. You have any uh, last words for the people? Uh, come check out the Crockers tonight. We're doing a live chat. So if you have any crazy questions, concerns, <laughs> uh, projects you want us to work on. Even if you want to bash us. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, th this will be a great time. Um, we wanted to get this video out. That way you guys could soak it in. And then during the live chat, we can kind of you know answer more celebrate you. really yeah. and truly celebrate it's friday let's uh let's have fun let's celebrate and stuff so this is gonna be this is my first official full-time full -time youtube well officially creator. now every crocker is a full-time youtuber that's crazy i yeah. would never have thought that so the crockers 2021 all right guys if you uh, enjoyed this video go down and smash the like button don't forget to subscribe to all of our channels and then we'll see you on our next video